Hey guys, welcome to SS Forex Academy. So being the first video on this channel, I thought I'd drop a few golden nuggets and give you guys a little bit of a breakdown on how we've caught a 2,800 per plus um, drop on NASDAQ on Friday, the 26th of November. So yeah, um, let's just get straight into it. All right, so I'm looking at the daily chart on NASDAQ and if I just replay this, we can see, so we'll go to the 25th. All right, so according to the daily, we are obviously still strong bullish. We've had our last, you know, where the market's turned, we've had a low down here. You got your higher lows that are, you know, your low, higher low, next higher low here. And you can see that price has obviously turned off a higher low in the market currently on the daily. So price, your bias on your bias on the on daily price is still bullish. Um, so if we look at it, we can also note that on the daily we've got support, a support area that's sitting down here, right? So at about 16,000, we've got support. Um, if you go to your four hour chart, so we went to a four hour chart and we were actually in this buy on the previous day. So on Thursday, we caught this double bottom, beautiful double bottom. It was about 2000 pips up, but due to fundamentals um, that hit on Friday where you know, we had a rise in COVID cases uh, due to a new variant that was obviously found. And as you can see, our fundamentals were negative and yeah, new variant caused Dow to tumble 900 points, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what kicked us out of that initial buy of this double bottom that we had been trading on. Oh. Um, all right, so on the four hour chart, we, okay, so based on the four hour, I can see that, okay, our last high was here, right? So this was regarded as our change in character. Uh, so, Change in character, and we've got that thing. All right. So let's go to the one hour. All right. Okay, so this is obviously now the 25th. Let's just play a few candles forward. Okay, so this is what happened on the 26th. So the morning of the 26th, we woke up and we obviously saw that um, price had been retracing. And if you pulled your FIB, we were obviously expecting if this was to be a higher low, we were expecting price to obviously retrace to around somewhere here. As you can see, it's rejected off the 50 level. But due to fundamentals, price had obviously still tanked, right? So once we hit this level here at around 16, 180. So that to me was a one hour support, right? That's our one hour support key level. And you can see price had rejected off there, but by doing so, I can see that it's also created a strong supply area in the market, right? So we had supply that was sitting at around that level, right? And I'll just mark this as red. So we've got supply that's sitting there at that level. And I can also see that, okay, so now price has now indicated to me that this change of structure that occurred up here, where we've taken out this high, is now no longer valid, right? So why is it no longer valid? I can see that price has now taken out structure to the downside. So this being my CHOC. Okay, 
So this is my new change of character. Right. right. So I'm waiting for on Friday. We were waiting for price to obviously retrace now back into my supply supply area. So what we did from here was we pulled off up. We got a 50 to 61 percent line up and that was basically what I was looking at. So I knew that once price got to this level, we were looking to short we were looking for a short position. Why were we looking for a short? We had a change in character to the downside. Um, and done that there and there. Okay. And your take profit level would have been, you would have targeted back to the next support level, which was your daily support, which is sitting down here at 16,000, right? Go back to the one hour. Okay, cool. Now let's see what other conferences we had on the trade. So we know that we've got a change in character to the downside. We had a 61.8 or we're looking at a potential 61.8 or 50% retracement. We are also looking at a double bottom here at this area. My students, yeah, I'm not gonna give it away in this, this video, but yeah, my students know what to look for when you see double bottoms, double tops, so forth. Um, let's go back to the four hour. Okay, so on the four hour, we're looking at that. Um, Okay, so you can see clean rejection on the rejection candles, clean rejection candles on the top, and you know, right, so, okay, if you're looking at it like this, and you want to draw 10 lines, I don't draw 10 lines, I don't like to draw them, it's not part of my, what I teach. Um, so, okay, you were looking at first touch, second touch, third touch being somewhere around there, and then obviously um, dropping off from there, as well as you would have probably broken this trend line. So, yeah. Okay, so you're looking at something like that, and you're obviously targeting there, and then price to obviously break that. But like I said, I don't really use trend lines, so remove them uh, can go to the one hour again all right so now all you were doing is stocking this trade on your lower time frames and waiting so you can see that price then okay there we go so price now taps into our area of supply and from there Thanks. You've got this beautiful rejection that happens here. We get in 30 minutes. Clean rejection. Okay. So you could have entered anywhere along here and scored thousands of pips. Um, okay, back to the one hour. So on the one hour. Again. So that was 2,800 pips that was hit. 2,800 pips on that cell from just applying a few basic concepts. Um, why we had marked that area off as supply, that is what I teach my students. So I'm not gonna dive into that, but yeah, you can see there was a bit of a consolidation in this area. You've got a expansion that happened and then you've got a retracement to that same supply area being a valid supply zone in the market. And that's obviously pushed the market down. Um, yeah, this setup was also shared to the, um, so this one was shared to our Telegram group where I'll share it, let me just pull it across. Here's proof that it was actually sent to the Telegram group, to my mentorship group. Um, and yeah, my students pretty much ate off it. So here's a chair. It was sent on the 26th of November. 
1409 and see some of the guys entered a little bit late but still caught the drop here we are okay so yeah that's that um uh yeah so if you guys are if you guys are interested in any of the services i offer be it signals mentorship etc then head over to my instagram and you will yeah head over to my instagram it's my handle is jackiel underscore ss dot forex um i post job yeah, post some analysis and whatnot as well um click the link in my bio and yeah we've got you can access yeah all the services that i do offer there's also a free signals group we have occasionally post some signals today as well so you're welcome to join that um, as well as the discord community as well okay and yeah that's a wrap hope you guys enjoyed the content and found it beneficial to your trading if you did then please don't forget to click the like and subscribe button for more educational content um yeah also and also please feel free to drop a comment below requesting which topics you'd like me to cover in upcoming videos um yeah meet you on the next one guys bye